What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another day in the My Career Streets and uh, so far the life of an NBA player, while it definitely has its pros, it's also been tough at the same time. Last episode we took a solid L to Jalen Green and the Houston Rockets and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that one kind of hurt, but that's what's going to happen when you got players that are injured and you're not drafted into an automatic championship team. But that's why I'm here, man. We're going to put that work in. Now, we did end up earning badges in the last episode. Right here, we've got a solid finishing badge, and there's really nothing else I can add on right here. So I think this is when I'm going to be getting my first Hall of Fame badge. We're going to go straight for that Hall of Fame Giant Slayer because I don't think I need Aerial Wizard. The Masher's not doing much for me because I'm not 6'10 or anything. So first Hall of Fame badge being equipped in today's episode we get into the shooting and we've already got the green machine high enough midi magician looks good i don't think i need to increase the guard up that much more one badge that i've heard is actually low-key pretty good is this comeback kid badge and especially because we're always in deficits here this one's definitely going to help me out a ton now one thing you guys did mention in the last episode because i'm always reading the comments and learning how to improve because this whole my career thing is very new to me so i listen to all kinds of criticism and some of you guys want to see me in more iso situations now i'm definitely going to do my best to do that but because i don't have every single badge in the game yet and trying to score on hall of fame against these defensive player of the year cpus it's definitely going to be tough but you know what challenge accepted now we got one badge here when it comes to the defense i'm putting that straight to the menace man it seems like it actually helps up quite a bit as long as you play defense it's going to drop the attributes that's going to help me a ton especially against the lebrons in the world who you know probably have 99 everything so that's going to do it as far as the badges one thing i did look into regarding my account was the animations so before i had a demar Derozan dunk style wasn't really doing it for me decided to equip the paul george one because i heard this was a very popular one i know i can go into the dunk style creator and mesh them together but i'm not really trying to get crazy like that this episode also ended up equipping the john wall size up i'm pretty limited to what i can buy i'm pretty sure the derrick rose one is the best but that one's not even available yet got the kobe triple threat got the fundamental pass style hopefully we can eventually get the lebron james one because from what i've been hearing he has the best one now to kick off today's episode i know in the last episode we had to go ahead and now win three games we had to beat our leadership role three times but we're actually going to start things a little bit different today so as most of you guys know when it comes to the main quest this is what we've been working on so far we did a little bit of the j cole one but someone suggested it and i figured why not we're actually going to go ahead and link with devin booker today he might be able to get me an exclusive pair of some kobe's man and if it's those b legendary ones i'm all for it i gotta add whatever i can to my closet because some of those shoes at nike and under armor they're cool but not all of them are the best man i've been rocking these jordan ones for a while i was rocking the adidas ones last episode but yeah we need some new additions to our closet so one thing you guys can see i did right away was a major wardrobe change the main reason i got the jordan ones on i got the ovo jacket on and everything is because i'm pretty sure this is a fashion mission which means you know i gotta be dressed for the role can't be showing up in shorts getting ready to hoop and stuff like that devin booker might be a fashion icon apparently in 2k23 what is going on here hold on am i gonna have to hoop again for a pair of shoes yo i really love this whole outdoor court setup this is actually so clean let's see what the boy book is up to hey book what's going on man mp what you doing over here at mall's point uh, chilling man chilling that's a but, uh, very good player you know, honestly skin. what i really came down here to talk about was uh sneaks mm -hmm. and them jeans yeah i'm digging them hey, what about them they fine where you get them from Plug me, connect me, talk to me. Man, my guy's man. just begging. Sticks, man. <laughs> These are my player exclusive Kobe's, man. One of one. Nice so this, stuff, is, man. this is for me and me only. Right, you gotta say it like that. Yeah. I mean, you selling anything like that? Nah. You but sure? I, I can figure something out for you, though. What's up, talk? Two on two gang. Winner takes the shoes. I walk out of here barefoot. What? That's some sort of joke, right, fam? Oh, I'm Yo, playing Devin the Booker. Most elite scorer in the league, bro. The most elite scorer in the league, bro. I'm okay, hold on. I'm, I'm sucking you. this man right now. I'm this needs to relax. I've been watching you. You on your way. So I, 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 I know. I know I'm how I'm you I'm are. I. I know how you are. I'm I, man. We're gassing the cover athlete so hard. Saying, two on two beat you. That was mine, huh? You can take the shoes. You take the shades. Both yours. I like that deal. Yeah. Bet. Let's get it. That's a bet. That's a bet. Ball up. Let's go. 
I have zero defensive badges, and I've got to guard Devin Booker. This is just lovely. That was the best defense you can play, and he just gets the rebound and mashes me. Can we please not lose 21-0? Oh, you don't get to keep ball. I thought we were playing by park rules here. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Hit that screen. Thank you. All the way to the basket. A, light layup, you know, something small. I'm trying to see that Paul George package. Huh? Dunk package. Let me correct myself. Kick it out. Kick it out. Pump fake. Driving out. I need a screen step back. Too much space, boy. Too much space. This is going to be all about who hits the most threes. If they keep going for layups, we got this in the bag. I really love the whole crowd and look at this court. It's so clean. Booker is literally just going at my head. Good defense. Come on. Kick it out. Yes, sir. Right back. I can't call for an ISO. Jab step. Let me show you that triple threat. Spin on him. Oh, yeah. Got him again. All the way through. I told you I got some moves in the bag, boys. Wait till I'm showing this off in the NBA. See, now I'll definitely take the screen. Get Booker off it. Thank you. Too much space. Ow! I can't even see my green celebration. I guess I'm just like that today. Something about that OVO jacket when I go hoop. Good defense. Good defense. Throw it inside. Oh, that's box. Lol. <laughs> Late 63% contested is nuts. Hold on. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm going to size up this Devin Booker. There you go. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. What a burst. Hey. Oh, this is actually good practice for me to figure out my dribbles before the actual NBA game. Look at us just moving. Cross him over. Step back. Come on. I got that takeover. I got that takeover. That's having a different mentality. We were down one and I took that shot. As long as they don't shoot a three here, we should have this game in the bag. Jump at that. Good defense. There's no way to stop Booker, and I've accepted it. We got to score here or it's game, man. Come on. Right to me. Give me the screen. How would Kobe do it? A little behind the back. Stepping back. Come on. That's game. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get hoopy. I'm sorry, Booker. We had to do it to you, man. All right, Rook. I what see I, you. What I tell you? I see you. All right, then. <laughs> hey, I'm a man of my word. Ooh. So here you go. Oh, man. You're a real one for this one, bro. Now, those are like beautiful. Like I said, it's a long like, story, but... Not going to lie. <sighs> I need these. Hey, man. Hit me whenever. Whatever you got going on, you can always call me, man. I've been a fan of yours since college. I watched what you did in the tournament. That was impressive. <laughs> that thank was you, impressive. Thank you. You, love, you, did love. That. <laughs> you did that. You did that. Yeah, I man, you know, honestly, I'm just trying to do it on the biggest stage, man. Hey, you're on the right path. Like I said, I'm just call the way if you need anything. For sure, for sure, man. Yo, uh... I got, I got his shoes though, and his nice, number. Man. Appreciate it, man. Just renovated this. For real? Yeah, man. Wait, wait, so how you get into that? Man, I just wanted to give back to the community, man. I grew up on this court. Booker sounds so My big right did, now. Too. Like, he must have been high place. recording this. A special, special place in our hearts. That's tough, man. That's very admirable, man. And honestly, man... You know, whether, whether it's now or sometime down the line, I'm really trying to get into it myself. You should, man. Like I said, just give me a call. Any advice you need, I'm right here. Like I said, you're a real one, fam. No doubt. I'll see you. All right, then. Okay, we just got ourselves some Booker's glasses and shoes. Put on Devin Booker's shoes and shades. Okay. Just tell me what to do out here, man. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. So we go to the city, and there they are, man. Kobe for Devin Booker. Those are so clean. I guess we got to do this as part of the mission. The, the glasses are super clean. I will say that. Now, what's next? Is that it? Oh, so now we got to go do a fashion walk on the city runway. Hold on. Let me get my fit looking a little bit better. I don't know if I want to be wearing sweats to a runway. So I don't know if this is going to affect anything, but I pretty much just equipped anything that said it was going to give us a bonus. So you can see the blue bonus on this one. And then when I went to the tops, I wanted to keep something OVO on, but instead it said this Rita's one was going to give us more of a bonus. So maybe that's what I got to do. Either way, we're here at the spot now. And it's time to show off. Look at people in their brown shirts and gray sweatpants. Still trying to show off. I literally have to stand in line for everybody to show themselves off. It looks like everyone's got like a Rita shirt. Oh no, everyone's got something different going on. Either way, we've all got the Devin Bookers and the glasses. We're all doing the mission. This is hilarious. Which walk do you want to use on the runway? I am not blowing a kiss. Point and pose, pen fizz, two squ- I'm going with point and pose. Come on, we gotta be cool. Hesitant freestyle, fancy footwork. Uh, the thespian, not even sure what that means. I got the glasses. Yeah, get the cameras out.
Look at that little bonus, man. Okay, that was a nice little side mission. So is that it? So now basically for the next one, we have to actually go play an NBA game. So I guess this works out into the main mission itself because we've got to win three NBA games. No more taking L's. It's all about the dubs. So we unlocked 5,000 MVP points. That's going to be super nice, but looks like whoever we're going to be hooping against, I'm going to be hooping in style. And I am stuck on my skateboard. This is lovely. Pre-game fashion walks. Earn fashion personal brand points by equipping corporate or free spirit clothing items and wearing them to the game. I think the ones I got on right now are corporate. I don't think I really own anything that's free spirit except for my Jordans. So I think I do want to go for more free spirit stuff because that's definitely more of the vibe. But before we do get into it, Fred Van Vliet, you are just awk. Oh, everyone's getting out the bus. I've never actually seen that. That is very cool detail i like that but we did end up earning a badge when we played against devin booker we got one more playmaking this means i got my gold quick first step eventually i definitely want to be able to get the handles for days the hyper drive or the unpluckable but this is definitely gonna have to do because we can't get the silver dimer yet we don't have our attributes high enough that's something i definitely i'm definitely looking to do at some point but gold quick first step that's gonna help me big time when i'm hooping Oh, look at everyone doing their fashion walk. Everyone's in a suit. You know what? I'm not about the suit. Yay. Get the cameras out. The slow walk. I'm going to try not to run. We got you a meeting with Callaway after your next game. It's a city design academy. Don't be late. He hates tardiness. I hate to tell you, but I definitely show up late to a bunch of things. As the cheerleaders, looks like they're rocking the Oklahoma City Thunder. So... That boy Shep is still ducking me. Put the nuggets on my next schedule. I'm ready to play them. All right, man. So it looks like this is going to be an away game. The crowd is definitely not too full. Hopefully OKC hasn't been taking too many L's. Got my boys recovering there. But I'm not sure if you guys heard the rumors. Did you hear that the Raptors, like, in real life, were actually potentially trying to get Shea Gilgis to Toronto? That would be such a big dub. I'm going to try to do that in the virtual streets, too. But let's get hoopy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure what standing OKC is at, but there's no way it's better than ours, right? Actually, honestly, it might be. Looks like they've got a healthy team. Right into that pick and roll. I know I said I wouldn't use it, but I had to test out the gold quick first step. Plus, we're trying to get that leadership goal at the same time, but I'll definitely try to ISO score on Terrence Mann or Trey Mann here. I don't know if he's an elite defender. Look at that. Everyone just foaming at the mouth when they see Fred Van Vliet on them, knowing that they're just going to attack them full force. And Fred can't do anything about it. Good defense. No way that goes down. Lou Dort is like that. I mean, shout out to my Canadians, but damn. The only thing I hate is that I cannot call an ISO. Either way, Trey Man, get cooked. Oh, yeah. Look at the dribble moves. Little spin maneuver. Give me that bucket. Y'all wanted to see more ISO scoring. There it is. One thing I should have checked is if we could have equipped those Kobe's in game. I mean, we still got a pair of Kobe's here, so we're chilling. But let me step back. Thank you. Make that pass. Yeah, I'm not messing with the fundamental. I don't know if you guys see it, but he winds up with two hands. It almost slows down all my passing animations. These black socks look fire with the Kobe's. I'm going to be honest. Little step back. Come on. I'm an ISO scorer. Quick first step. Got to draw a foul right there. And we got some free throws. He's not going to be able to guard me. I just finished having to go up against Devin Booker. Nothing is going to phase me right now. And it's funny because we actually have his free throw animation. I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks so easy to time. Like, you can see he flicks it right there. And it's a green every time. Let's keep it going. We got a lead. Let's hold it down. So, one thing I'm assuming is that Chet Holmgren is injured. Because he would have been starting otherwise, right? Like, that's a number two overall pick. There's no way he's coming off the bench. Oh, gee. Today's your chance. The fundamental passes. <laughs> They're not doing anything for me. No pass style is going to save the fact that my team just cannot shoot. Good defense. Good defense. Lock it up, Precious. I need your help there. Oh, yeah. I'm already on the break. Throw that pass down the court. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on. I'm in the corner. Catch and shoot. Bang. Okay. That was good patient offense. I'll give him credit there. Good pass. Get there. I'm baiting him into those bad shots, and he keeps missing them. Come on. Let's go. I'm already down the court. Fred, I'm going to let you handle the offense. I had you with a screen, but he wants to go all the way through and give me that assist. I'm definitely not mad at that. He's stepping it up. He's like, you know what? If I can't shoot, I'll go to the basket. I don't want the Westbrook reputation. Nice swing right there. Actually, I didn't mean to call for the screen. Either way, cross him up. Bro, that quick first step is so noticeable. See, I don't like that pass. That should be an easy quick pass, but he winds up and then throws it. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. 
We got that team takeover. Oh, it's funny because I was about to activate mine. See, now I got to go off the screens because if I stop and pop there, sharp shooting takeover is easily the best one in the game. It's nuts. Hands up, Precious. OG, close out on that. Good defense, man. Now, I guess you can argue that the post takeover is also pretty OP. OG, catch and shoot. Bang! We can probably sneak in one more bucket here before the takeover runs out. I'm actually trying to get Precious to eat because, like I said, this man has been my favorite duo, except he goes for the roll. All good, though. Hit this man with a drop step. Got him in the air, and that's an easy layup. The team is cooking. 25-11 already. Yo, this team cannot score. Why wasn't Houston doing this? Do I go for the foul? I got to. Easy draw foul. Come on, every time. They don't know how to guard me in the paint. And the Giant Slayer isn't really doing anything there because I'm not attacking a big man. But, hey, we are shooting very efficiently. And, yes, this is still on Hall of Fame. You guys will see it at the end of the game for anyone that is a doubter. We're just hooping like that. Get over there. Good. Close out me. I got takeover still. Someone get me the rock. Someone please get me the rock. I want to pull from here. Actually, hold on. Let me size him up a little bit. I am going to pull for a three from deep. Cross him over. Step back. Thank you. Too much space. Bang. Oh my goodness. We're going off. Still got half my takeover. Finesse that. Cross him over. Stepping back. Come on. I'm trying to get busy right now. Y'all wanted to see the ISO scoring. There it is. There it is. Good defense. Good defense. I cannot guard that. I have such terrible paint defense in this game. It's not even funny. Pass me the rock. The scoring's not done. Oh, that's an easy burst. Adios! Hey! Okay, Paul George dunk package isn't bad. I'm liking it so far. I probably don't have enough takeover to get a bucket here before it ends. All good, though. That crossover? Bro, Michael Jordan's dribble style is so OP. Ty cannot guard me. All the way again, that's another whistle. Like I said, it's just too easy to draw fouls. The hard part is hitting the free throws on a consistent basis, but you know us, man. We know how to time our shots. I am the Green Ranger. Everything is green. All right, so we played that whole first quarter, and with the kind of lead that we have right now, hopefully we sit a lot at the second quarter. Because I don't know if my player can get injured, but I really do not want to risk it. I remember I got injured like back in 2K12 when I was first playing my career, and it was the worst. My stats were all down. Everything just sucked, but uh... Still got a 12-point lead. There's no uh, 2K funny business going on. And I'm going to go back to that pick-and-roll offense. Y'all saw my ISO scoring. I like to score as a team here. Oh, yeah. That's you, Boucher. Come on. Someone's got to hit a three tonight. That's the goal. Please. Good defense there by Delano Banton. I'm already down the court. OG, you got to be cutting through. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that pass is bad. I got to be careful how I pass it into the paint. How did they get team takeover off us scoring? I really don't understand how it works this year. Someone else on my team besides me has to hit a three. But if I'm open, ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm scoping. I had a bad three-point shooting game last time. And I realized it was my controller more than anything. I used two different controllers, so it was messing me up. Good defense. Still a 13-point game. They got to take over. HDB, eight. Yeah. Right, yeah, pass. That's the one he hits. The one I had zero confidence in off a terrible catch. I mean, I guess. Jay is almost averaging 30 points per game. This man took a leap in the virtual world. Driving. Get that in there. Yo, no, that passing is not it. Please hit the shot, though. I love it. I love it. I can't run the pick and roll right now. Th that passing is not it. Nice rebound. Catch me cutting to the basket. Yes, sir. Hey! Uh, get your daily pull-ups in, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I'd say that was a pretty good half of basketball. 32-1-6, shooting 60% from the field. Jeremiah Robinson Earl is doing it all for OKC, but if that's their only hope, then um, we're going to bury this game pretty quick. All right, so we're in the second half, and I've got one goal in mind. Make this stadium empty before the fourth quarter. Will he make that pass? Yes, he will. He's doing the Fred thing. Someone has hit a shot. Fred will never hit a three. Like, we need to trade for Shea as soon as possible. Come on, Precious. It's time for us to get locked. Oh, that's a perfect screen. That's a perfect oop. Hey, I've been looking for one tonight, and we found it. Beautiful catch. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Nope, that's a terrible shot attempt. I thought they were going to call a foul for a second. Oh, yeah. Get the ball in the corner. Catch and shoot. I'm not missing those anymore. Uh, 
Always got to get in the gym and practice before games. Let's go. So far, we have not been able to score with this team takeover. Hopefully, something can happen off this play right here. I think they're running it for me. Indeed, they are catching and shooting. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Hey, I didn't think I was going to get by him. But that's going to be one more bucket here being subbed in before the fourth quarter. We got to close this out strong. This is a team that we should have had in the ground before the end of this quarter. All right, man, it's fourth quarter time, and luckily for me, I haven't had a reason to use that comeback kid badge. Thank goodness. Right into that pick and roll. I'm going to see if I can make the bounce pass. Never mind. Look at that. It's like that double arm pass is not it. I got to take that off one million percent. Oh, catch me. Catch me. I'm shooting that. Yes, sir. You didn't close oh, out quickly baby, enough. Oh, my jumper is way too nice. I'm so glad I found this. Oh, gee. Have you ever caught an alley-oop? I guess we'll never find out. Nice pass to the inside and nice dunk. We got our takeover, and I'm not even going to waste that opportunity. I need it in the bag. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm the only number 16 that people are going to be respecting here. Get up the court. There we go. Blue door's not on me. Cross it up. Step back. Signature. Bang. Give me all three of those. This crowd is doing its best to stay loud, but I'm about to silence them again. Look at that. They can't guard the step back. It's just way too nice. That, yo, I love my jumper. Again, I think I showed it in like episode six or seven. Y'all might want to check it out. I wonder if I'll ever be able to break Wilt or Kobe's record one day. Oh yeah, there we go. Step back, cross him over, drive it through. Step back animation. It's just too overpowered. That's another three to the dome. I might have to go for Wilt's record one day. I'm not sure if it's going to be attainable on Hall of Fame, but I'm willing to try once I get all my badges. I see that team takeover creeping up here pretty soon. It'll give us an opportunity to get hoopy again. Step back. Oh, come on. You can't leave me the open mid-range. I'm not going to miss those either, Derek. Am I sitting the rest of the game? Yes, they want to keep the star healthy, and we're going to close this game out by 25. They allowed 138 points, and we got a career-high 56. Love to see it, man. A cool little 56, 1, and 9 on 65% shooting from the field. And I believe we can now go all the way to a 92 overall. Now, I like to prove a point, and I like to show you guys that this was indeed on that Hall of Fame difficulty. Quick first step core challenge. Congratulations. You now have the ability to core the bronze quick first step badge. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll definitely look into it. And y'all see that right there. The 1.6 difficulty multiplier. Hall of Fame. They still can't stop me. Okay, let's get started. Hey, Nate, what's on your mind, man? Wait, 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 wait. Let, <laughs> let me guess. You what's got some on? questions about my leadership since you didn't reach out for comment. I mean, wait, wait, while we're both here, why not? I mean, you tell me your side of the story. Yo, that is a very cool cinematic picture right there. They got the details of the face looking good. If your source won't put their name to it, it means nothing. I welcome feedback. I wonder if there's an ulterior motive. Ooh, how are we gonna call Othella out? Mm. I'll go with the first one. Whoa, I'm feeling there's feisty. nothing to tell. Because if whoever said that won't put their name on it, it means nothing. It doesn't sound like it means nothing. <laughs> what are you, the sound police man? <laughs> you see, father. <laughs> yes, I am, but only that I have to address this. Yo, fam, it's either somebody that's not in his locker room or someone who is too much of a coward to speak to me man to man. Mm. Because either way, that's someone whose opinion I do not trust. Well, this came like from it. a member of your organization. Nate, it could be the water boy. I don't, for all, actually, let me take that back because Rocco is super cool. Sorry, <laughs> Rocco, if you heard that. But you feel what I'm saying. <laughs> well, it wasn't Rocco, the water boy. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. That's it for today. Oh, so I only so did one question here. Okay, so we did part of our regular main quest on top of this Booker quest at the same time. All right, so now it's time to go link up with Callaway. Hopefully, you know, the whole fashion show, the pregame fashion show as well, all that went well, and they call it Creative Design Academy. Okay, so at least there's no sort of secretary here this time. That makes things a lot easier. I would usually take the stairs, but elevator it is today. 
Ashley, looking fierce as ever. Oh, you're too kind, Callaway. And you're too modest. Wouldn't oh, you agree stop. our friend Ashley here has a striking sense of Listen, style? I, yes, I've always yes. said <laughs> This is the first time I am hearing that. Ah, you two have a delightful <laughs> repartee. There's uh, my mom, pretty <laughs> much my 40-year-old hey, girlfriend. Excuse uh, me, I haven't made introductions. Professor Shields, this is MP and Mila. MP and Mila meet the legendary Callaway Shields. Professor Shields, it is an honor to meet you. I am a huge fan. As am I. Of that ensemble, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. She's You're just like that TV. I am for the genuine episodes. article, my dear. Yeah, wow. it, it is really nice to meet you. And uh, Ashley has said nothing but glowing things about you. Well, the feeling is entirely mutual. But uh, enough of this fawning. Ashley mentioned you were looking for some advisement. Yes. What we're looking to do is to turn MP here into a sort of style icon in the city. Yeah. Uh, we've been building my personal brand and we're basically looking to move it to fashion. And there's no one with a better eye or sense of style than you. Mm -hmm. Flattery will get you somewhere, but it won't get you everywhere. Look, I don't mean to sound harsh, but this feels very Pygmalion to me. I'm a mentor, yes, not a sculptor. I work with people who are serious, dedicated, saying who there view is fashion no fixing as a means of expression, of not a means of gaining celebrity. Well, well, fashion is something that I absolutely care about, Professor Calloway. Is it? Yes. This industry is bursting with talented but struggling designers. Some of them end up leaving the field entirely and go on to something like public relations. Others end up working for celebrities who just want someone to tell them what to wear. You want to make a name for yourself in fashion? You want to prove to me you're more than just a boy who needs help picking out clothes? Use your name, your stature, and your personal brand to help one of those designers reach their potential. Thank you, Professor. We're very grateful. It's truly a pleasure. Thank Wish you luck. Okay, so back to square one? No, no, we just need to find an up-and-coming designer that we can help boost. Okay, you got any names? Ronnie 2K. Oh, I, I've been out of that world for a long time, but I mean, I could try to pull a list together. Oh, here we here go thinking face. Audrey Louise Reynolds. Well, that would be interesting. Why? Who's uh, Audrey Louise Reynolds? She's a young designer with a ton oh, of talent. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. relatively under the radar. She does sustainable tie-dyeing with eco-friendly dyes. Right, right, right. She, she's a former student of Callaway's, uh, and she is also responsible for those chef t-shirts that you've been seeing everywhere around the city. So, I'm basically stealing chef's designer. No, no, because it was just a one-off thing. Right. So, okay, let me get this straight. I'm going with the designer that he's too good for? Uh, no, that's basically no, what no, everyone's no, gonna no, be no, saying. No, 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 The whole reason they're not working together anymore because he left her high and dry. Yeah. So if we work with her, help her establish herself, which we would, uh -huh. then Ashley could spin this story into gold. Yeah, 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 it's exactly what Callaway was talking about. A young and talented designer stuck working with selfish celebrities in need of a boost from someone who actually cares uh -huh. about fashion and isn't just looking for a quick boost of ill-begotten credibility. It's a redemptive arc wrapped in a David and Goliath story meets Cinderella. HTV, <laughs> yeah. Callaway will eat that up. See? All right, yeah. Those t-shirts are pretty fire, too. Uh, yeah, mine yeah, is pretty basic right now. It's worth an ask. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I'd say that was a pretty productive episode. We went out there. We had ourselves a career high. First Hall of Fame badge. Got to hoop with Devin Booker. And now we're getting involved in the fashion industry for sure. Looking to up my game. I'm gonna have to go check out Swags, which is honestly down the street right here, see if they got any new fits. I know they do update those weekly, so I gotta make sure I'm getting the limited time stuff. But thank you guys once again for tuning in to another episode. I'll be catching y'all in episode 14. Woo!